we are Lachimala. We are back with our a rendezvous series tonight. We will be meeting for the almost certainly pretty much kind of the first time. <laughs> Only one of Yay! <laughs> I say that because if you watch K-pop Christmas, you'll know that we already saw their Christmas song, Melting no. Snowman, which I, I personally really, really liked and listened to a lot. <laughs> right? That was that a... and the We I song and the N Mix. Gosh, K-pop Christmas is the best. I know. Oh, there is a playlist for that, you guys. We have a playlist on our channel, so right. look that up if you feel like having Christmas in May. Or as of this recording, May, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Any like month. What month, what month are we in? <laughs> November. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, um, definitely, definitely heard of only one of, um, thanks to Beth um that's a very 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 first like a long time ago yeah like really yeah, long, time, long ago. time ago yeah and then we stumbled we actually watched a music video um during christmas as beth said and honestly like uh, there's so many bands out there so we are so <laughs> happy we have this segment on our channel because it gives us the opportunity to learn more about these underrated bands and you're like saying what underrated bands yes this is our whole run series we run it <laughs> with the band right now um because like we want to learn more about them and these are from our subscribers or sometimes us because we're like oh you know we're, we want we want to know more I want to check this out <laughs> yeah. so um we have some lions in the house yeah. and so uh, why do i feel so old right now why do you just do that that, I mean, yeah. I was going to let it pass. <laughs> Sorry, I think I loud too much. What okay, were you, <laughs> what were you lifting? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Either. Um, um, but I um, want to say special thanks to our lions. Here yes. are Carmen, Sin, and also Liz, um, our wonderful subscribers. Um, you guys left great comments about only one of um and so and also some of your um uh, comments in the video request form as well were really touching you know like mm -hmm. i i already felt like um we already felt like we learned a little bit about these guys um that they are very impactful in the LGBT um, Q plus, you know, community. And so I was like, wow, you know, this is this is really exciting. I love artists who put themselves out there, you know, and break the mold, you know, I mean, they come from a very conservative country, we could all agree about that, you know, um, and to have an artist uh, or have artists that say, you know what, you know like let's not be prejudiced you know let's support each other and let's uplift each other um and already harder I a... than it sounds unfortunately mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so um hearing an artist like breaking the mold like that you know or help break the mold you know that is amazing you know and so i already have a great impression of them not not because of k-pop christmas but just hearing this you know i feel mm -hmm. like it's a really 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 meaningful thing it's a really special place for both of our hearts you know because yeah. we are all about of inclusiveness here you know um and just hearing that i was like okay we definitely we definitely gotta check these guys out and support these guys yeah and like i said they've been on our radar for a while now actually mm -hmm. um it was their title track levito from their mini instinct part one which is how i originally was introduced to them it was in the algorithm i was like what's this they're like you like mom sex try this i was like okay click. <laughs> <laughs> And I ended up listening to a whole mini and I remember thinking, I was like, whoa, this is so different. And, yeah. you know, just digging through their song tracks and their titles and mm -hmm. how they all like write and produce and things. It's very obvious that they are um, very intellectual, like all their songs. I think you want to see the lyrics. They, yeah. you know, there's layers here. 
Um, so that's kind of exciting, but they're also still filthy. And I know you like that. <laughs> wow. Way to call a girl out. Dang. Filthy intellectual. <laughs> that's on brand for us. I mean, <laughs> I mean <laughs> check out our playlist. Um, but yeah, so I am really excited because I only know those two songs, Libido and Melting Snowman. Mm-hmm. But I have wanted to get into them because I do feel like their sound is is interesting at least the little bit i've heard i'm sorry i'm cackling over here because seriously the duality melting snowman and then libido (laughs) two opposite ends girl guys those are the only two songs we've seen (laughs) i mean they could not be more different talk about talk about colors yeah um we watched libido offline together um but in the future we'll watch it with you guys too you know i I don't think i've seen the actual dance practice so we'll do something like that you know but we'll circle back because they're amazing dancers that i know so yeah Yeah. um but in case you don't know hi i'm beth and i'm tammy (laughs) <laughs> and this is our rendezvous series where we check out artists usually recommended by you guys mm-hmm. that we know nothing about hi guys it's disclaimer time yeah. i don't know any of these guys names <laughs> tammy doesn't know any of these guys names Zero. we don't know where they're from we don't know how old they are we don't know how cool they are this yeah. is for us to learn yeah so yeah this is a learning experience for Thank us for coming on our journey yes <laughs> yeah and you know if you have like great like great and fun stories about them we would always love, love to learn more about them you know but be prepared for us to be like that one not the one on the far left but the yeah. second left the guy with the love long hair him. yeah like that's how it's going to be you guys because yeah. right now we're going to learn about their charms as a group Mm-hmm. And then if we like what we see, we usually end up deep diving later. Trust yeah. me, we have found way too many groups on this <laughs> on this rendezvous journey. Our wallets are not happy. No. Um, but to be honest, I feel like these guys have been, you know, lurking on yeah. my timeline for a while. Yeah. It's time I just open the floodgates. So come on in. Oh <laughs> yeah. No gatekeeping here. <laughs> No, let it out. I, I, it all I like open. the idea of being a lion. That sounds cool. I know. Who doesn't want to be a lion? Right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, with that caveat, let's do this. All right. Well, before we dive into them, you guys, uh, we uh, speaking of the Ron DV series, uh, we do have a playlist. So, if you want to check all of our 20 plus episodes <laughs> maybe a band you like is on there yeah. maybe a band you like needs to be on there yeah um i know right so um yeah they're they're prior episodes check them out um it you know when we say underrated it could be um underrated globally underrated in south korea so they are all lumped in there together you know so ranges from Pentagon to card to highlight all sorts of bands even soloists like woods so just um yeah and if you guys have any suggestions feel free to let us know Uh, we would like to know three to five of your favorite music videos um and if you could plop it in the video request form that is located on our community board um you can't miss it it's in our sunday weekly posts it's there just go in it it's very easy simple questions and then you just plop in your your links in there and then done voila and then we see it and we're like huh okay so (laughs) i mean (laughs) we always do it in that key (laughs) very surprised shocked even Which is what we're about to get. Okay. So when I went to see how many videos there were, of course, we took into account what you guys had. So we're, we're going to pepper some stuff in. But mm. also, we wanted to watch some other music videos as well. Yeah. Um, so they had a lot of music videos. <laughs> this band debuted in May 2019. But they had a lot of music videos. So I kind of just bounced around. I only listened to like the first 30 seconds. And I was like, oh, that sounds fun. Oh, that sounds fun. Well, so it's kind of scattershot, plus a couple of things that you guys requested, um, which we will talk about when we get there. Yeah, um, <laughs> forty years is a very long time, you know. Like that's more in than the K-pop half. universe. It really is. Yeah, like, like they have done a lot. 
It's more than half of their, um, you know, contract. A, a contract, allotted contract mm -hmm. um, time. So always yeah. bringing it back to the business. You know, always do. <laughs> Bring back to the biz. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, let's start off with this one's called Angel. I did notice they had a couple of minis where they had a different producer on each track. Um, Well-known producers, which I thought was cool. Like you know, get in a bunch of people to mix it up a little. Mm. Um, so this one's production by Gray. Mm -hmm. And this actually came out May 2020. So goodbye, Gray. rookies. Hello. Oh, wow. Summers. And uh, crazy because we all know that 2020, March was the, at least in the U.S., March was the beginning month of when everything started to shut down. Yeah, but even in December, we know there was stuff happening, right? Mm -hmm. So these guys were only out, what, six months? Yeah. Where stuff kind of started to get weird. Crazy. Um, so they've had a lot of, you know, it, it makes sense they put out a lot of music, I guess, right? If you look yeah. at it from that angle, because yeah. they've been in the studio more than they've been able to tour. Yeah. Um, but in a weird way, we're lucky because we get lots of music. Wow. Um, all right. So let's uh, start with this one. Only one of, and this actually has 7.5 million views. All right. Okay. All right. There we go. Boop. I like their logo too. It's cute. Oh, what? Whoa! <laughs> it's a look. So model-esque. Right? These guys all have very distinctive um, facials. Ooh, I like this. This oh, is like nice. It. Oh, my God. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I love the colors in that stage. I love his voice. <laughs> right? It's so soft. Yeah. He must be the main dancer. Hey, uh, this is fun. I like that one too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the hook. Yeah, this is so good.
Whoa! Oh my gosh! Look at all these credits. Wow. But, um, Tammy and I happen to really like it when there's credits because yeah. we like when everyone gets just you know they just want their two seconds, guys. Their two seconds. Okay, but the <laughs> only problem with this is uh -oh. that okay, okay, this this is where I have my beef. Where's your soapbox? Um, <laughs> I know. Like, Where's that? <laughs> okay, you guys. So, <laughs> Good talk. Okay, here we go. You guys, seriously, like this, these two little boxes right here. I mean, those should be. It should pop up at like another slide. Show the credits and then show those two boxes, which is the end screen. Um, you know, a little bit later so that we could have time to pause and actually read all the credits, you know, these are, yeah. it takes a village, you know, to create a music video and a music video is really expensive. And also <laughs> we all know that recording a song takes a village. So mm -hmm. that is, I mean, I can't even see who ran the robot arm. Come on. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> what about the names of the panel? Okay. Sorry, you guys. All right. Sorry. <laughs> In rant, rant but, over. yeah, but I, I have to say, okay, this song is totally my jam, you know, like I love this type of music. It's very EDM, you know, um, and it's, it's not one of the songs where you like, you know, out of ravers and you jumping up and down and yeah. kind of, you know, um, I like that. I, I love this beat. I love, I love the beat when it dropped, you know, yes. I was waiting, I was waiting for it and I was like, ah, okay. I was wondering how it's going to sound and it sounds superb, but I have to say though, there, I am a stickler when it comes to auditing, but I have to say how they did it right here was art obviously an artistic choice but it wasn't like throughout the whole entire song it was yes. just a little bit and i really enjoyed it you know like they did it right here you know because yes. some songs are just heavily auditune even like back in the day when it was like really prevalent at the time yeah i get it everyone was all into autotune everyone's like oh you know what is this you know it was a fad you know but you know 2020 fast forward to 2020 on a tune is out everyone wants vocals they want to hear your live vocals and they had auto tune in here but just a smidge and it worked out perfectly for this type of song yeah and i agree with you about um how this wasn't heavy edm there's like a lightness there's like mm -hmm. a sprightliness to this mm -hmm. like even when the beat drops it yeah it's not like something that like crushes your soul mm -hmm. uh, but mm -hmm. i yeah. love the lyrics i love the just the idea that my left chest the woofer like come on that's cute that is so like, adorable that's so adorable i saw the your woofer. expression you're oh, like yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah yeah so i thought that was really cute i really liked that there was a lot of interaction it felt like between the guys and us mm -hmm. and i got that in the song too there was lots of them singing together which you know i'm a fan of yes Girl you like are. Harmony. Who doesn't? um <laughs> so yeah I, th I just thought there was so much to like in this song mm -hmm. um it's fun it's playful <laughs> we haven't even talked about the crazy video yet i know <laughs> right I was like, wait, hold, hold, hold up, what? What's going on? <laughs> Guys, there's so much going on. I honestly am not 100%. This is a great shot, though. Wow, look at this. What I know, I right? Right? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. What's yeah. happening? Oh my gosh, um, the, the I, blonde this, hair this dude. One, yeah, the long haired dude really stuck out to me. The blue yes. haired dude, and yeah. then this dude. Yeah, yeah. Him, him especially the on the far left. Yeah. Yes. I, I have to say, I mean, even though I'm terrible with cars, you know, I know I'm putting <laughs> it out there. Um, I love this stage, actually, all the different yeah. rims um, mm -hmm. in the background. It's really cool. It's very graphic and fun. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. I really love like the saturated colors that they had. Not on the basketball court in the. I don't mind all the neon oh, right here, too. Yeah, I do like the neon. The neon's really cool. I loved like the little. Um, Smiley faces flashing. This guy has sass, like attitude. Right. Like he was walking right there. Oh, that was like the perfect sequence that you you were showing. 
First of all, it takes major stones to cover your eyes as a performer. Because let's face it, that's the easiest way to connect with anybody. Yeah. Yeah. So this is you being like, I don't even have to look at you. I know you're looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> that There's a swag and confidence about that that is absolutely insane. And how healthy does his hair look, please? I know. <laughs> Why does he have such thick, gorgeous hair? What's happening? This. Wow. I loved this like mm. set. I just thought it looked so cool. I loved that the main girl um, honestly was, for me, a little gender neutral and like, you know, kind of an every person. Yeah. Like, could be anyone you know. I liked that. These were really cute. <laughs> I like these weird things, how you would like fly through and see what it made. Yeah. Just cute i i just i really liked it i thought it was good i thought all oh, this was super fun all of them so I, I i love his voice the the softness of like, the way that yes. he sings is gorgeous yeah and all of this just like really cute <laughs> yeah i love how when the beat drops it's more like the rhythm speeds up instead of there being like too much bass. It's mm -hmm. fun. Yeah, this is a um, really fun song. I could listen to the song like a hundred times, honestly. This would be great for the gym, wouldn't it? Oh gosh, a hundred. Yeah. I say with a question mark, guys, because that's Tammy's place. Oh uh, yeah, that is my <laughs> realm. That is my realm. Yeah, th this is this is actually a great cardio song. Mm. You could spin to this song. Right? And you don't like spinning. Who does, guys? <laughs> Who does? Oh my gosh. Okay, the next song is um, A Song of Fire and Ice. This is also has a different producer. This is Groovy Room. Okay. Who we have heard some of his other uh, works before with other bands. Mm -hmm. And um, this is actually from August 2020 and has 1.3 million views. Oh, wow. Um, and I thought it was interesting because it's called A Song of Ice and Fire. I mean, so, when I hear when I hear that, it reminds me of Game of Thrones. Exactly, and it's 2020. Wasn't it like ending around then or something? <laughs> like, I don't know. I yes, that's exactly what I thought of. So I was like, I don't even know what this is about. Uh, God, I don't know. I know. All right, so let's check this out. Not to infringe on anyone's copyright. This is a song of ice and fire. <laughs> so smart guys. Some production houses don't have intros that classy. I know, right? It's beautiful. I already like the undertone. Ooh. Ooh, that was a fun transition. Yeah. They all sound like they're whispering. Right? I was thinking they all have very light voices. Tenors. Ooh. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Ooh. I like this part of the song. Yes. Yes. 
The choreo is so fun. Mm-hmm. I think he called it. totally felt like they were just whispering you know i mean in a good way you know to <laughs> us you know yes yeah which is like very very saucy but um i love it though you know i do too it, this is i think in both songs we haven't heard a lot of like belting or, you know at the end we heard a little bit but you're right it's a lot more it, it this sounds wrong it's not sounding as nice as i wanted to but it's got like a stage whisper quality for me mm-hmm. um which to me just means that I'm like, oh, what? Like I lean in mm-hmm. because of how they're singing. It makes me feel like I need to like lean in. Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. is probably a good thing. <laughs> yeah. I will say though, because we are very honest in here. Like we always give our very honest opinions. Um, the part before we like, you know, um, mm-hmm. that transition was a little bit mediocre for me but once mm. once the beat dropped to like when we both were like oh it sounds so good you know um okay. uh, yeah that's where it ca- like that's where it instantly caught my attention it's interesting because i feel like there's three different parts in the chorus where it like totally changes yeah, <laughs> yeah. and i think you're right that some are a little more successful than others, um, yeah. but I do think they stacked them in a way where they knew that the last one is the best one. Yeah, exactly. Um, so that part's really smart and clever, but yeah, I think it's somewhere around here. Oh, this is the part we love. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, it it does feel like a bunch of different ideas mm-hmm. um, kind of all swirled together. A lot of it really works for me. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, there are points where I'm like, oh, I really like that part. I kind yeah. of wish the third part was like the whole chorus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that I, I felt like that part like really took off. You know, yeah. it's just yeah. super fun. Mm-hmm. Um, and I really enjoyed it, you know. Yeah. And it is nice because I do feel like we do hear a lot of songs where sometimes they only make it kind of to second gear and you keep waiting for it to like mm-hmm. kick in. This song kicks in. You're like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's like there's a payoff. You're excited for it. Yeah, yeah. Most definitely. Yeah, but I, I will have to say, even though like that transition isn't quite my favorite part, um, I will say the choreo throughout this whole entire music video is awesome. I love it. I did love a lot of the visual transitions. Mm-hmm. I liked like the glitching, the you know, the filters of red and blue. I loved the wrapping inside of one of the containers. That was super fun. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, there's a lot of really good parts and you're right. Like all of this for people like us who haven't gotten to see their choreo really, this is like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I love the dance break with the, the guy where we can't see his eyes. Um, and which makes me still believe that he's one of the main dancers or a lead dance <laughs> or main dancer of, of yeah. the group. Yeah. If they don't use titles, that's fine too. But I mean, there's always going to be at least one member who just, really loves to dance you know right. and i feel like he's the one so they're really fun dancing. i really I love like that. these outfits too i thought they were 
just kind of disheveled enough. Um, I just thought they gave like a fun vibe. Like this, all of this was really fun. I thought all of this was cool. All these great lights up here. I love yeah. that they were in the containers. Yes, it's, it's it was fun. Fun. And then yeah, some of, some of that stuff. I was like, oh, this is what it would be like. This is not I mean, so cool. Could you imagine shooting a music video in such an industrial place? They're, they're right. all shipping containers, you guys. How can you make <laughs> this look all pretty? And they did. They made it look And they're nice. in like a white satin and they look great. <laughs> yeah, a very plain and simple. Let's dance around shipping containers. And mm -hmm. it just looks, they made it look classy. You yes. know, it's fun. It, it looks interesting. Yeah. How can that be? V visually, no, yeah. it's beautiful. I mean, oh I, yeah, Vis visually, I really I, like it. I honestly do not associate shipping containers as being beautiful. But no, but <laughs> they made I it thought, look great. especially like like these these lighting effects are so great. Yeah, like this, they just look so incredible. And then it, the blue, too. I think the blue of the shipping containers really gets me. I'm like, oh, I know, so right? pretty. Almost so looks like awesome. file cabinets in a weird way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting like a lot from it. I'm probably yeah. reading too much into it of my own life, guys. But I mean, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I like. I feel the struggle in the dance too, which is really nice. Yeah. And this part right here, it's kind of blue, right? So it's kind of like mm -hmm. right here. It's like, I am ice. You are fire. Yeah, so they, fire. they are, they do look icy. And there's other moments where it's all orangey like fire. So yeah. I love that. I love the play on the words and the visual aspect too, you know? And it just goes to show you, you don't have to spend like a ton of money. I mean, yeah. this looks good, but yeah. they also probably didn't build a bunch of crazy sets. Why bother? No. Like no. let let the artist be the star. Yeah, let, let's let's just go to a, a, a harbor that has shipping containers and film there, you know, right. and, and and you yeah. guys will just like use all your facials. OK, yeah. cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That works for us. Yeah, <laughs> that works for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> OK, this next one was actually one that was uh, requested by Sin. Mm hmm. So this is Dora Mar, which is um, from one of their digital singles. Um, I noticed when I was flipping through their catalog, it seems like they have a lot of digital singles that um, reference like other artists in different fields, like um, like visual arts or performing arts or what have you. Um, so I think it's interesting that they still had a choreo video from something where they didn't even have a regular music video. So it must be special because Lion definitely wanted us to watch it. Yeah, and which makes me believe to believe because they, they toured before. So this is probably one of their B-sides where they are, you know, digital single that they decide to, hey, incorporate this into the the tour, you know, so mm -hmm. they have like a dance practice or even like, I don't know, an award show or something. Who knows? Right. Yeah. Again, and we know nothing. B-side girls, I'm assuming we're going to love it. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we have sense for this one because but yes. let's check out this choreo. Here All we go. right. Oh, this is January 2020, guys. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I love their clothes. I like the drum a lot. Oh, oh. A little quiet. I'm gonna turn it up. Wow. Oh, I like that. Come on. 
other's bodies as like obstacles mm -hmm. like their choreo really feels like they are striving and like working to get somewhere yeah yeah it's interesting you yeah. know you don't see you don't always see a lot of choreo like that it's usually very like fun that they're, they're really <laughs> in I, I know this sounds really strange but like they're really in each other's like bubble you know yeah yeah, um yeah, yeah. i like i and, mean in the beginning literally stopping people from getting through like they have to literally pull people apart yeah i mean like for example like the hand going like this or like this mm -hmm. and it's just like yeah. Ooh, you know yeah uh, there was there's a i heard you when the when the there was the full lean back you were like oh yeah. and i liked how you know he was able to make them all turn yeah that, that's cool yeah yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like they um, they can they're able to like kind of control each other. They feel like a unit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and I have to say, this song, <laughs> a I very love that drum. I know that drum. I love how it's, it's like so hollow good. with like a hi hat and like mm -hmm. and, like it's obviously like some sort of snare. Ooh, yeah, the, this the <laughs> song is like perfect you know for like studying like i could totally study with this song in the background I you know? know i don't know i um, might get too distracted by it yeah i, I mean i totally can <laughs> it, it's it's so soft and mellow you know what i mean that's yeah. what i mean you know yeah but i could um, see myself falling so in love with this song that every time it comes on i'm like oh yay yeah. and like i have to stop what i'm doing so yeah. i can see why this was such a recommendation thank you lion mm -hmm. Um, it's very, it's, it's seductive, but not, I don't know. It feels very restrained in a weird way, like in a good way. Ooh. You know what I mean? Like for me, there's a little bit held back. Maybe that's partly because of the choreo mm -hmm. and, um, I like that tension. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Wow. I think it's more fun to, to feel like tension in something than to mm -hmm. see someone go over the top. Yeah. Yeah. To me, the interesting part is right before they go over the top. Yeah. Of, <laughs> of course. And that's course. for me, that's what I was feeling here. I was yeah. kind of like, oh, like I felt like we were on a tightrope. I didn't know which way it was going to go. Ah, yeah. For me. Yeah. For me, it's it's like in a realist, realistic realm, you know, like, yeah, I could. 
I could have this in the background and, you know, study or like do what I need to do because like there's certain songs where I'm like, I, I, can't, I can't focus. I cannot video edit if there's like, you know, a song that's way up, up tempo and I just want to get up and dance. But this song, like I could imagine like, okay, I'll do some video editing, you know, and and like just sway my body back and forth as I'm doing my thing, you know? There is a mellowness to it. it it's it, super mellow. You could totally picture like reading on a rainy day with this on or something. Yeah, and I was um, gonna say, yeah, yeah. This is like a perfect day where you could just be in your bed all snuggled up, you know, and just enjoy this song, you know? And but even though we didn't get to see the lyrics, I felt like you could tell a lot from their expressions and mannerisms like how intense this song is it's deceptively quiet and among other things for this song <laughs> i mean i that. really liked it what do you yeah, think yeah me too All oh right. yeah anyways yeah, yeah. yeah this one was good All cool. right. okay anyway all right moving on next music video <laughs> All right, the next one I picked because, um, first of all, it was called The Lion's Den Version. It also seems like a B-side. Um, and the song is literally called Suit Dance. How many suit dances have we seen in love? Oh my gosh, a billion. A lot. Yes. So, this is a song called Suit Dance that they made a Lion's Den version of, so... I, don't know I what, assume it's going to be great. <laughs> I don't know what lion, Lion's Den means. It sounds like, you know, I, something, you sounds know. Sounds like the place they gather with lions. I know, I know right? Right. <laughs> yeah. So I figured this was a special treat for the fandom. And um, I like to see how an artist treats their fandom. So here we go. Yeah. So dance. Let's do it. Oh, this is from February 2022. I already like it. Right? I like the scent. Ooh. <laughs> I already like this. I... Oh no. <laughs> Leave your body to me? Wow. Wow. Oh. I can't with that one. Okay. I love this. This is beautiful. I like it. Oh, fun. How do you feel about? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, problem. so much to me in this video yes. yeah he does i love this part yes okay and i love the, the upgrade it's so fun okay Cute. I love that. That was really cute. Oh, ooh, fun breakdown. Oh, 
This is, this is, I have all the songs. I know we have one more song to listen to, but this song is by far my favorite song. Well, it's 1,000% up your alley, and guys, we will get to all of that. First of all, how good am I today? Some days I'm really on. Look, I picked my favorite dude saying something cute. Like, this was total random. Um, yes. Sorry, guys. Sometimes I even impress myself. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, um wow i'm glad i picked this one yeah so i approve of how they treat their fans yes a hundred percent yes because they're obviously madly crazy stupidly in love with us Aww. and i approve of that mm -hmm. I mean, yeah a hundred right oh my gosh. i mean the theme in their song seems to be they're madly in love with you which i like that kind of focus mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm in, and yes, I totally agree with you. I love that even though this isn't a co-ed band, they're still dancing together in a co-ed way. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that is really cool. Mm -hmm. I, I like, I really love it. I love the way they all move together. Oh, this was like super sexy. And I mean, can we even get into the words yet? I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We both love that synth. That was oh. perfect. And it had that great, again, it had kind of like a moody, muted mm -hmm. feel to it. This also felt like a rainy day song. <laughs> or an any day song. Yeah. I mean, the last video I was able to wink all cute, but now I can't do it right now because I'm all like <laughs> flustered right now. This is a fan song. Now it looks like I I, I have problems with, with like I have a sty in my eye or something. <laughs> That's why I'm flustered, you guys. <laughs> guys, if we're buffering, then we like it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. It, it's crazy how like we pick up on what we like, right? Like instantaneously, you know. The moment you played this song, uh, I was like, all right, I already know for me, like this song is gonna be very good, you know? Um, just, you know, the, the synth really, really caught my attention. Uh, just their body language. Yes. And <laughs> let's not get into the lyrics. <laughs> the lyrics are a thousand percent naughty. All of this, again, a lot of, I love how much of their choreo seems to be push and pull. Yeah, um, I love it. It's really I absolutely love it, it, it feels very dynamic and vulnerable because mm -hmm. they are, like you said, invading each other's personal space. Yes, the time. they and are. Like, that's there's something that's always a little dangerous about that. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, you're, you're a little, you're just a little too close for comfort. Yeah, um, but that seems to be their brand, which I kind of love. Yeah, this was absolutely. amazing. <laughs> this part, oh my gosh, <laughs> what all of that? I was like. Oh, Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love that they're obviously supposed to be in like some club, like some old school bar. Okay. But he fits it out so much. Oh my what gosh. Follows me is the spotlight. You right. You right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just thought there were so many great parts. We got to see everyone do something interesting. You're right. This this guy really stood out in this video. Yeah. I think they all did. Yeah. Honestly, guys, I know I should know who this is, but <laughs> he looks so different to the other video. It took me a really long time to like kind of even place them again. Don't know yeah. their names. Um, what about all this, guys? Tammy's a prop girl. See, I mean, yeah, if, if, if this is your first time ever watching any of our reaction videos, I mean, I'm already buffering right now. I'm having a hard time spitting it out. But I, I'm a person who really appreciates, you know, props, you know, like I just chairs, umbrellas, even using your jacket as a prop. 
like it, it adds another layer mm -hmm. to the choreo you know you don't really need it because you have your whole body dancing right but you add that extra layer of choreo to that by using something from from outside your body you know so i mean i i i, I always, love that I, I find it so fascinating and they're always like in sync you know yes. and like at this handkerchief what you know, this was so cute because so it was so tiny. I have never seen, and they used it for a very long time. Yeah. I was like, what? And you know what? It's just like, and it's not like, it's not like I just love props and like, and that's it and you know it'll suck me in like you have to use props appropriately you know mm -hmm. and if you just have it for the sake of having it like why you know and but I thought this one was so cute because they're like they're telling a story with it you know which i i love you know i i felt like at first they're almost like they're gonna drop it so that you have to come pick it up and then it's more like they're luring you over i like that their choreo is like it's what both sides would do it's like mm -hmm. uh both genders would do what they're doing it's cool yeah, yeah. i really like it again this <laughs> guy killing it back here i see you mm -hmm. i see you yes you do <laughs> yes you do yes i do yeah i just really loved this this was super fun and then yes to your point yeah all the um part with the jacket is cool I love this right here. It's so much better because he puts it back on him. I don't know yeah. why. I, yeah, I was going to say, like, so gentlemanly. Right? Know? And it's just like, you didn't have to, but you did, you know? And it's... He's it's, it's, only pretending not to be a gentleman. Yeah, <laughs> It's so, I don't know. It's so debonair, you know, like I it love is. it. It is. I agree with you. There's something full circle about it that's really like sexy. Yeah, it's great. I love it. Anyway, I liked this one. This mm. was great. My favorite so far. Wow. I enjoyed, uh, I'm enjoying all the songs, but this by far is my favorite. <laughs> Caught my attention real fast. Real fast. Mm -hmm. um, all right. And we're going to close it out with their newest track. Uh, okay. Well, their newest music video, mm. um, which is Soul Drift. Uh, so this actually came out February of this year. Not very long ago, just a couple months. Um, so here we go. Only one up. Ba -ba -ba! Oh, wow. Wow. Very different. Whoa. So different. Round, round, round 
Wow, this is so crazy. This song is very different from all the other songs that we heard. And like completely. And there was completely. one two months before this. I'm wondering if that was like more in this vein. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, um, so um, a little bit of what you, if you guys keep watching our reaction videos or people who've been watching our reaction videos know that like i have a tendency to listen to the instrumental first um that's just how i'm wired so um very i i i like the part right before the chorus you can hear the screeching of yeah the tires which mm -hmm goes perfectly with the whole theme of soul drift and if you don't know what drift is um watch fast and furious uh, <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of fast and furious um franchise um this song would fit perfectly um in that franchise really? for real you know <laughs> i Makes mean you wonder I like is it is no, this I mean, from a soundtrack? I, I, this per, this fits perfectly in a race, like in a racing street racing movie for sure. You know, um, this this would be perfect for it. You know, yeah. but yeah, but but yeah, just very 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 different. You know, so they're right now now they're showing like a different color to them, like they're being very versatile. You know, yeah. so um, which is like you know good for them. You know, like yeah. They, they want to show like a different side to them you know and they did <laughs> and we always like it when bands take risks and this is definitely 1000 percent different than what we were hearing before mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um i liked how much guitar there was in it yeah um i kind of liked that i felt like we saw people rapping who we had been seeing singing and people singing who we had been seeing yeah. rapping it felt yeah. like they kind of switched uh they switch positions they like yeah. to rotate mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and that's cool too it seemed like they kind of shook things up a little now i do know at one point they lost a member um it does look like at this point they only have six instead of seven um mm -hmm. so maybe that had something to do with it maybe they yeah. decided to just kind of like if shake everything up like experiment why? a little it's bit it's not the same so why pretend it is yeah um this is very interesting honestly the longer i listened to it the more i liked it i was just so surprised from the last one yeah um, but i feel like this is a song that i could get into i just need to listen to it a couple more times i do really like the guitars and you're right that screeching noise is super fun yeah i mean some songs are roars right i mean there's some songs where like i was really uncertain of you know and i was like you know i sure about this but some songs when you keep listening to it and you're like okay uh, i could I, mm -hmm. I could i could get behind this i could totally get behind this you know this has all the things i like in it i yeah. was just really surprised yeah. no <laughs> you, I, the same I, I felt the same way and i think it's because like you know after seeing all these different um music videos um that was presented it's this one is the most different out of all of them, you know. Yeah. And you guys, and you know, this they're is probably a in a new era, yeah, right? Yeah. Welcome to their new era, <laughs> yeah. And like uh, some of these music videos that were chosen, like we didn't know, you know, these yeah. are all random, you know, Check so random or yeah. whatever you guys gave us, yeah, oh. exactly. Um, yeah, super interesting, yeah. So be looking forward to see, like, um, you know more of their new era um and 
what else they have from in, here yeah what else they have in store for us you know yeah. so. i mean i am definitely interested to hear more of their b-sides i feel like uh those were the tracks that like really kind of spoke to me me too um but it's obvious that they're super talented. I love their choreo. I'm sure I could watch all their dance videos <laughs> and be very happy. Absolutely. Um, certainly beautiful. And I love how it's kind of like lyrical contemporary almost. Mm -hmm. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's really its own special art. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. This, this band is definitely very, very talented you know um and i love how like some of the songs in here like they're of course they have like a bunch of tenors in here but they didn't need to belt you know yeah. to to like say hey i'm a great singer they didn't need to you know and and i like that quality as well you know we know they could sing you know yeah and that also kind of sets them apart right mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. it's it feels a little less flashy yeah um which guys nothing wrong with flash i like flash yeah um but yeah this has a very it's it's a different unique style i it's, feel like it's very different it's like very different. it's interesting i feel like there's so many things in this uh, in what we've seen today where i was like this is so different than other stuff we've watched mm -hmm. this is so different i mean so i mean from that aspect alone definitely worth um checking out <laughs> yeah and their and their choreo you know is very very different you have i really like their lyrics too I yeah they're really fun <laughs> do we really I mean. on the lyrics come on come on <laughs> <laughs> as you said in the beginning of this video uh my alley you know <laughs> so um uh, yeah their lyrics are very beautiful it's um it's it's gorgeous I mean, spicy at times, but you could also be spicy and elegant at the same time. And I feel like that's a very good word for it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like they're both, you know, very, very classy, you know, on what elegantly to... saucy, <laughs> elegantly saucy indeed, you know, so um, and they present themselves very well, you know, mm -hmm. like getting that message across. And I love that. You know? Yeah, yeah, definitely unique, unique, unique. So I will be excited to like listen to a full mini because, like I said, I've only listened to that one. So apparently, yeah. I should pick up another one. Yeah, <laughs> it's and, time. And honestly, too, like I know that they toured in North America, so I would definitely be interested to see them live. You know, yes, I would love to see some I, of, like to see how they perform this. Um, yeah. one after the other crazy yeah. madness yeah because i feel like them like first off they're great singers and second like their dancing is just really really on point so mm -hmm. i i definitely would see them live yeah i don't say that for everyone right that's kind of like a very high compliment coming from us yeah um because you know you vote with your money and i yeah. i would be willing to see them yeah yeah, yeah same here oh I know, right? <laughs> Why do we always do these after they've toured? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. This always happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you to all of our lions who suggested some of these amazing music videos. And if we felt like we learned a lot about them and, you know, piqued our interests. So we really enjoyed them a lot. So you guys. If you like this video, or even if you love this video, please <laughs> don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we are watching La 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 La. And we will see you guys for the next rendezvous. <laughs> 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 <laughs>